uh, good day folks in this video we can take a look into the uninstallation process of cdh cluster so i have a cloudera cluster so which is managed by cloudera manager so i will walk you through the process of uninstallation so i have summarized the steps here in this uh, document okay so let me walk through those things first okay so first we need to do some steps from cloudera manager so log into the cloudera manager and do these things stop all the components ecosystem components then stop cloudera management service uh, then uh, we need to uh, uh, stop and uh, delete all the uh, hadoop components then uh, deactivate and delete all the parcels then we can delete the cluster from cloudera manager so these are the steps we in which we need to do from cloudera manager so uh, once this is done so we can uh, log into the cloudera manager node by using putty or any ssh connectivity tool then uh, stop cloudera scm server service then uh, remove the cloudera manager server package so based on your uh, os distribution so you need to select the command so here i used red hat flavor linux so i need to use m then go to the machines or nodes where agents are running so stop all the agent services then remove the components then do a m clean so now we have uh, deleted or uninstalled all the packages for cloudera manager server and agents so now uh, we will uh, kill uh, some uh, process i mean so there may be some processes running in um, backend still so you can do but mostly uh, during the first phase itself so it will get uh, cleared so uh, if in case if something is running so we can kill those process by using this command then uh, we have to remove some files and we have to unmount this uh, particular portion and uh, delete those these directories okay and uh, remove the uh, uh, ecosystem components maybe you might be using some directories so remove all those directories and clean and the last so if you have uh, some external database like uh, mysql postgres or oracle configured so you have to take care of that so you have to clean those databases properly or you have to uninstall and uh, delete so these are the steps involved in uninstallation so we will uh, do this one by one so do the first thing so log into the cloudera manager and uh, execute these things okay so if you want to uh, know the detailed uh, step by step process so just press cloudera uninstall so open that link then I, you will i will get this link and you have to uh, follow these steps okay the first thing which i'm what i'm going to do is stop all the services so on my cluster select the stop then stop it takes some time so wait till then so now uh, so we have stopped the services so we can close this so all cluster services are stopped then now uh, stop this cloudera management service so go here stop so wait some time so it again it takes some time so based on the uh, services we have added in uh, cloudera management service so that's also completed then close this okay so now first part we have stopped the service and we have stopped cloudera management service so next we will uh, have to deactivate and delete parcels so go to this par parcel icon then uh, you will have the, uh, okay so we have only one parcel activated so the remaining are just still in download set okay so just deactivate this option deactivate okay so let me do a so this service need to be restarted okay fine so again it, it take some time so wait till then so once it is deactivated so you have option remove from host do that op option press ok then uh, it will uh, take these parcels out okay so again it takes some time then uh, last we have an option for deleting just delete that 
okay so that's it uh, now it uh, looks like a download option so now we have uh, removed uh, all the parcels then uh, we have uh, uh, stopped all the services and all the cloud manager agent and uh, i mean uh, so oh, sorry all the uh, uh, ecosystem component and cloud management services so next is uh, we can uh, go ahead and delete our cluster so select the cluster then here you can see delete option so delete so that's it we have deleted our uh, cluster services and also the cloudera management service also we can delete if required again this does not remove okay fine uh, okay no not required so i just remove my cluster also that's it i need to do from cloudera manager side so the remaining uh, things i have to go to the terminal so where uh, these clusters are running and uh, remove the um, manager server and agent packages for that we need to use putty and log into those machines okay so these are the steps we need to do it on the server node so go to the server node and stop cloudera scm server and uh, uh, then remove the cloudera manager then uh, copy this uh, command then go to the master then uh, stop that so once that is stopped then we can go ahead and remove this sorry so i need to copy this entire thing then remove that cloudera manager server package so it do uh, m remove option so yellow update manager so which is a package manager that is using in a uh, uh, red hat flavor machines so here i am use using uh, my machines are centos based so it takes some time for uh, removing this packet so we have to wait okay so while asking uh, yes or no you have to choose yes and then uh, it's uh, completely removed that cloudera manager server package so next uh, what we need is we need to stop the agent and remove all the agent packages so these steps you have to execute on all the nodes because we have agents running on across all the nodes okay so let me stop the service uh, on other machine also then uh, go to this one and uh, select this one also stopping and uh, then uh, remove everything so yum remove I think I, I should have used a single code instead of uh, this code. Also better use iPhone Y flag because it won't ask again yes or no. Otherwise you have to prompt um, while prompting you have to enter yes. Okay so I am using this. So this is uh, removing all agent and uh, other component dependent components. So let me do it across all the nodes. Okay. So do it here also. So post to that I have to try this command. Again uh, most of the commands may be uh, uh, turned off. So I have to go and do this command. Okay I think uh, it's not there why because it's not getting its process ID. So yes the service is already uh, stopped okay so we will wait some time to finish that uh, uh, agent cleanup and execute this command across all the nodes so my agents are uh, properly cleaned so i will uh, execute this command i mean copy and paste it across all the nodes right so that that that's done next is i i have to unmount this uh, service cm process okay so that's it I okay i think uh, to use it here yes 
okay so i just uh, did an unmount then i have to execute uh, this command so cloudera manager data directory for proper cleanup okay so do it across all the nodes also and the last node that's it so next uh, remove that log file if it exists so most probably it may not be there but if it exists so we need to uh, remove that log file so here also it's not there but we need to make sure so we are cleaning that uh, log file uh, then uh, we have to check is there any applications or ecosystem components directly exist if it exists we have to remove that do exist execute it across all the nodes so master as well as the nodes node 1 node 2 and uh, node 3 also that is done uh, then uh, the last step is the stop and remove external database so we have we need to uh, have a look on the list okay where on which machine we have used the database and what are the databases we need we have used so we have two options so either delete uh, those databases and then uh, uh, leave as it is or we have another option is uh, just uh, uh, clean up and uh, uh, uninstall this database so first let's try uh, my secret I wrote because we have created some users also we don't want those things also so we need to uh, remember those whatever that uh, users and databases we created show databases then you can see hive is the one we used then ssm is the one we use so drop database scm sorry not scc scm then drop database hive i don't want this database then show databases yes that's it similarly i i can uh, clean up the i mean drop the uh, databases from other machines also so i have some more databases here so similarly i have to drop these databases also so the easiest and quick, um, best way is uh, delete that mysql uh, service itself so make sure so no other service other than the cloudera manager is uh, cloudera or cdh is using this mysql if some other application is using so you should not uh, delete that so only you should delete uh, this whatever the database and users you have created okay so otherwise don't delete anything uh, just delete drop the databases and users that you have created so don't anything else okay so we have seen uh, uh, how to uh, drop the databases we have created similarly so we have to create uh, we have to uh, delete the users also that we have created as part of our installation so we can uh, uh, check the users uh, available okay so so these are the users available and you can see dump and SSCM and hive these are the users that we have created so we should delete that user before uh, finishing that uninstallation so let we will use that this option equal to then hive that's it then if you check the user then hive is deleted similarly I am deleting SSCM and temp so these are the uh, users which I have created so so now if you uh, uh, look the users only the root is there so you need to make sure so you are properly cleaning up the databases and the users that you have created so if you are deleting the entire uh, or uninstalling the entire mysql so if any other service other than this is using uh, that mysql service so one will become uh, i mean so will fail okay so you need to make sure so you are properly cleaning your backend database also so do execute the same or similar process on the other nodes also so you have you may have uh, databases uh, 
co configured or relational databases configured for other services also maybe it may be hosted in some other nodes so if it is so so you have to drop those databases and the user is created so this is how we can uh, uninstall a cloudera managed cluster so let me summarize the steps that we have used okay so first log into the cloudera manager so make sure your cloudera manager is up and running and log into the cloudera manager stop all ecosystem components so you can go to the left side and under the services we have stop option then stop cloudera management options so the cloudera management service will be available on the left hand side okay bottom then uh, next is uh, once this is stopped then go to the parcels you on the top uh, right hand side you can see the parcel icon click that then deactivate and delete and uh, remove the parcels then the last thing you need to do from the cloudera manager is the delete the cluster so that you can come come to the uh, left hand side top and from the cluster uh, drop down menu so there is an option to delete that then the next thing you need to do is so you need to remove the packages uh, for cloudera manager server go to the cloudera manager server then stop the service and uh, remove the package then agent so this step you have to execute from all the nodes so go to each and every node then stop the service and uh, remove the packages and do a yum clean so that's it for cloudera uh, manager server and agent then if some process are running then uh, you have to kill that so you can copy and paste these steps and uh, some uh, process uh, you need to unmount and also you need to clean up some directories so these steps you have to do from all the nodes and uh, if any data is there so you have to properly delete that and if you are using any other directories other than this so you have to delete those directories also and external db cleanup so you have you can you have option to stop and uh, i mean uh, the external div but if some other application is using keep as it is delete the databases and users that you have made i hope uh, so you like uh, this content so if you like the content so please uh, click like button also subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching thank you bye